Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at Big Lots and their Halloween selection. Before we go in, I did want to say a special thank you to all the patrons who help support the channel. If you're interested in joining our Fright Club, be sure to check out a link to my Patreon page in the description below. Let's go ahead and head on in. The first thing that we're going to see is this nice display of animatronics. Note the finger placement of this werewolf. I did have to adjust it before filming the video, so that wasn't completely obnoxious, but Clearly, you can see his potential. All right, he's $160. That's a pretty expensive potential. Got a rocking chair doll. Now, I am really not a doll fan when it comes to Halloween decorating, but I must say I really liked that one. I like how big she was. It made it a pretty impressive looking prop, and I'd actually consider it. There were a couple of good dolls here at Big Lots. All right, we've got a disco jack-o'-lantern here. He's very festive. I like that house. It's kind of a knockoff of some others that we've seen. I know that Cracker Barrel has a similar one. I remember seeing that werewolf animatronic for the first time a few years ago, thinking how amazing he was. He is pretty good looking. He's got a nice sculpt to him, and he's uh, kind of scary, much better than this werewolf. That werewolf is just kind of embarrassing. I do like these unwelcome signs. I made one for myself last year. I uh, did a DIY on that. Check it out if you want, but it was much bigger than that glowed in the dark. Not quite as elegant looking, but it did the trick. I think that tombstone probably should have done something, but I couldn't see an on button. This little doll uh, couldn't really hear or understand what she was saying. It seems to be malfunctioning. Got a couple of scarecrows here. Happy things to stick in your yard. Definitely not my cup of tea. Unless you're going intentionally cheesy, I really hate that plastic clapping noise from the mouth of that last animatronic. Drives me insane. Welcome. This house is <laughs> Strange things come out on Halloween. I don't think anyone's really surprised by that doorbell animatronic anymore. It's been out for so many years. I did like that sort of uh, Grim Reaper. Nice chainsaw effect going on there. We have an interesting looking old time camera. Now, from my experience, any sort of projection effect like that is not going to show up very well at all. If you put it any distance away, it's just going to get washed out in even the littlest bit of light. I'm having that problem right now. I want to project a spooky image on top of my fireplace, and it was a nice looking projector. Got it, uh, who knows where, a couple of years ago, but it just it gets washed out. It has to be really dark outside. And by the time it is dark outside, the trick-or-treaters aren't coming around. They're not going to see the effects. It's kind of a shame. Speaking of things you can't see, that dark velvet black skull totally gets lost in the camera. Right. This is a tree. It looks like you can unfurl it, and it's kind of got those sort of spooky, wispy branches. I actually wanted to do that as my centerpieces. It ended up looking awful. Creepy little doll if you don't like your kids. Uh, 
Okay, I did intentionally pass over the skeleton reading the newspaper on the toilet since we watched that at the beginning of the video. But come on, big clots, what the heck? I must say, I absolutely love the button eyes of these dolls. That's so creepy. Again, I don't like the doll effects, but if I did, it would definitely be those. And that one's got a lot going on with it. Don't really like the missing eyes. Looks a little forced to me, but that bear effect was kind of cool. All right, one thing I really like about Big Lots is all the little tchotchkes that they've got on the shelf. It really is a nice selection to help you uh, flesh out your Halloween decor. There are a few things that I was actually very interested in. Um, again, not so much the dolls. I like the butterflies on that skull. I've seen that. I, I can't remember, honestly, if I saw that when I came here earlier and they didn't have a whole lot out or if I've seen that in other stores. But I feel like the butterflies are some sort of trend right now. Me, I am more of the standard, don't like the velvet pumpkins, but I like that black skull. Another creepy doll here. She's got a very wicked looking face too. <laughs> don't you want to play? Come closer. I've got a secret. I do get a little irritated by the same sort of phrases in all of the animatronics, the little dolls. The, I've got a secret and come, I want to play with you sort of thing. I mean, I don't know what else they would say, but I feel like when they all say the same things, it gets a little repetitive. I do like the dish towels. They've got nice colors, and I absolutely love this sort of placemat with the snakes that are all intertwined. That was amazing. I might have to go back for that. The other thing that I really was interested in that I didn't even notice until I was re-watching this video are those um, rest-in-peace pillows that we're going to see here in a moment. There in the background of the shot, you can kind of see one of them. I want that. I did really like that sort of Grim Reaper ghoul that popped up behind the stone. That was pretty cool. Too bad they didn't have that in a bigger size. Not really sure what this guy is. I think he's been here a couple of years. Doesn't he crawl along the ground or something? But I couldn't make him work. Somebody probably broke him. He certainly makes a nice little dead body prop. There's some more of those rest in peace signs. Definitely want to get those. I love the way that that uh, skeleton on the toilet is like looking down evilly at the butterfly there. The butterfly fairy skeleton thing. A lot of candle options. You know me, love my candelabras. Don't think they had so many of those as just single candles held by skeleton hands. I think there were a few options like that around the store. Got some of these little plushes. That little bat pillow was awfully cute. But we've got a variety of different sayings. And that's supposed to, I don't know, is that a cat or a dog? Oh, it must be a cat. It's got a fish in its mouth, I guess. And of course, it couldn't possibly be Halloween without the gnomes. A couple of different selections for you to choose from if you're just dying to add another one to your collection. If you do collect those, let me know why. I need to know. It's a full moon night on Halloween. The three of us can make you scream. We'll be everywhere on Halloween night. I wouldn't mind seeing that more in a life-size pumpkin's eyes. Here is our skeleton cat. And of course, it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. I was actually talking with a coworker earlier today, and we were talking about Halloween costumes, and I had suggested she be a Sanderson sister for Halloween. And she said to me she can't stand all of the hocus pocus merchandise in the store when they just have phrases like that on them. And uh, I was a little surprised. I too don't love it but she actually like viscerally hated it so if that's your case too let me know in the comments why i guess i have the same thing you'll notice i tend to complain anytime i see one of the halloween decorations that says i'm here for the booze i i absolutely can't stand it like that and the velvet pumpkins it's just an irrational thing i suppose but when i see it i hate it all right, but back to the merchandise. Lots of little decor items. 
This aisle seems to be a little bit more pleasant with the pumpkins and the ghosts, a little bit more country with the little wood blocks and whatnot. We do have a nice variety of the floor mats. I think on that other aisle we saw a floor mat that was kind of like a half circle with a spider web. If I were getting a new one this year, I actually have bought a couple of new ones this year, it would have been that one at this store. I actually ended up buying just something, I can't even remember what it says at this point, something about a haunted house, since my living room theme is just going to be a simple haunted living room, and uh, it's not going to be overtly Halloween, just spooky ghosts, and they have been summoned by the foolish homeowner who was playing with a Ouija board on the coffee table. Well, I did see a bit more Ouija board decor here, and I was pretty tempted by that, um, but then again, I don't want it to be overtly Ouija board necessarily. It's just general haunting, so less is more. I actually love the way that little guy dances. That was super cute. The ghost doesn't want to play with me today, though, so let's keep moving on. we got our bobblehead figures over here. And some wreaths. You can always get those at a pretty good price, but... I mean, why does this one say, Welcome, my pretties, but doesn't really have, like, a witch theme going on? I need more gnomes. If you don't want a plush gnome, you can get a little wood block gnome. Oh my gosh, let's all run to the big lots. I do like the pumpkins in the urns. That would make a nice DIY one day. We should probably get on that. All right, lots of wood signs, too. Not really much to complain about. Lot of stuff for every taste. Got a few dishcloth options to choose from. Oh, eat, drink, and be scary. I don't hate that, but again, that is also everywhere. We should challenge ourselves to come up with some sort of new uh, food-related or kitchen-themed Halloween phrase. Again, leave me a comment below if you could think of one. All right, some light-up uh, pumpkins and cats. Very nice. Now... This skeleton should have something that happens with his eyes. I assume it lights up, but couldn't make it happen. Stay tuned till we see the larger version of this on the end cap that does have some light-up eyes. I thought it was actually very cool. All right, some cheap tombstones. Not impressed by those. I love these little climbing window figures, um, but one and a half meters. So what is that, like four and a half feet or something? So I guess that's not too small, but it's way less than life-size, and the undersized props are one of my big pet peeves. I think a lot of these air-blown inflatables are the same in every store, so that's a little disappointing. Here's some more of those skeleton hands holding candles that I talked about. Those are called battery-operated stakes, so are they supposed to go outside on your lawn? <laughs> Love the little light-up pumpkins. Don't much care for the skulls. They look good. They've got a nice blink, but they're so loud. <laughs> and it seems like they recycle the wording in some of these props, so they just put a different skin, same audio. Some some kind of pricey $24 for a tiny little fake tree. Like, that's not going to go very far unless you have a very small walkway. And then it's so not realistic looking. I would rather anyone spent that $24 getting some materials to make your own props. You're going to get such better bang for your buck. I already got a fog machine. That's, what is that, $42.99. That's not a bad price for a fog machine. That little jug of juice won't go far, though. Friday the 13th sounded a little off to me. From my laboratory in the castle leaves. And we come to the lights. So, lots of string lights and sheet lights. Oh, there's another inflatable, a little scarecrow. All of those inflatables are very cutesy. That was one of my complaints, I think, in the last video, is that 
They make so few scary inflatables. Why does it have to be cute? And of course we have the obligatory Nightmare Before Christmas and Cap, although we saw Zero hiding in some of the display a little bit earlier, I think. But here is the dedicated area. I like the way this guy lights up and that he's holding that spider. Looks very cool. And we've got some plushy figures and an inflatable. There was actually the other Jack inflatable on the other uh, display. I hope those look better in the dark. Here is the skeleton I was talking about and his eyes. You know, this is an affordable skeleton with LED eyes. And I think that is a pretty cool effect of the way they blink. And you know, the little kids are going to love that too. Sometimes we got to let the kids have a little bit of happiness, not just share terror. Right. I have this guy, I think. I've never used him though. He is a bit noisy. All right. I didn't really see any costumes, but if you want some jewelry, got a whole bunch of earrings. Lots of different types. I guess, you know, if you wanted to, you could also DIY some of that stuff into, like, necklaces. All right, we do have some animal costumes, though, and some animal toys to go along with them. Now, my aforementioned co-worker went to a different Big Lots today, and she saw and bought a little cat bed that was a pumpkin. So that was kind of nice. She also saw an animatronic scarecrow that I did not see anywhere in the store. So perhaps other stores have a bit different merchandise. I'll have to try and check that out later. All right, some mugs and whatnot. This is in the all under $5 section, so that's not bad. Although that little sort of ceramic tombstone with the skeleton uh, you get all that sort of stuff at the Dollar Tree. I wouldn't bother spending up to $5 for it, but it is up to $5, so maybe it was a little bit cheaper. A couple more dish towels and pumpkin carving kits and treat things. Lots of little odds and ends on the end cap. Here by the front door, we do have to have some overtly Halloween things that scream, it is time to start decorating by all our stuff. Which is weird because the rest of the display the merchandise is way in the back corner of the store. They just put, I guess this must be the stuff they think is going to entice you the most. Or maybe it's all to impulse buy. Do kind of like those skeleton tea light holders that were there on the bottom. And this little candle of a haunted house. For price, I think that's at $7.99. Uh, but I wouldn't mind watching that melt. See what happens. Of course you have your cheesy little string lights. There are the skeleton hands I was just talking about. Pretty cool looking. And I actually do like that spider and raven um, sort of wall decor. But again, that's the sort of thing that you can get a dime a dozen at the Dollar Tree. Probably shouldn't have used that phrase exactly, but you know what I mean. It's so common. I do like to put the different themed soaps in my bathrooms. Didn't see any that say happy haunting this year. I'll have to keep looking. I found one in a previous year. Really loved it. Anyway, that kind of brings us to the end of the Halloween merchandise. We're not really going to take a look through the fall, but I will leave you with a glimpse of what you could purchase if you did want to head over to your own Big Lots. Be sure to stay tuned for more store walkthroughs, DIYs, product reviews, and more. Make sure you're subscribed, and please give this video a big thumbs up. Till next time, thanks for watching. Take care, happy fall, and happy haunting.